Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I'm Colorful Artie, your host, as usual. So today we've got to finish up a couple more of the trouble requests over here. And then after that we should be able to enter the final dungeon easy peasy. Alright, we got Gold Bob and Toadia. Let's start with Gold Bob, this will be the boring one. I need you to take something to General White. Please come get it with all speed. Meet me in Poshley Heights. Oh, fun. Yep, this is another one of those. Oh, General White's running around everywhere. Gotta backtrack to all the different places to find him. Hello, Gold Bob. So, Gonzalez, how did you enjoy your cannon ride, hmm? I'd like to go to the moon and look for some investment opportunities. But enough of that. I need you to take this to General White immediately. And we get a package, an item Gold Bob asked you to deliver to General White. I think General White is back in Far Outpost now. It's a bit far, but you can handle it. Oh, actually, maybe he's j Okay, maybe he doesn't backtrack to all the different places. Maybe it's just go to Far Outpost, which is, well, far away. And I think we have to wake him up again. So this will take a while to backtrack there, so I guess we'll just cut to when I actually reach him. So as you can see, I decided to grind up a little bit at the Pianta Parlor. I've got a lot of Piantas now, so I can get me the Money Money Badge. That Money Money Badge is 234 Piantas. Wait, you only need 5 BP to wear it? Really? Well, hot dog! I don't know why I thought it was like 12 or 14. Only 5? That's amazing! Wow! Um, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of use for money at this point in the game, but... Holy cow. I also equipped Ice Power and Spike Shield, because we're probably going to need those. Or at the very least, they will be quite helpful. And I still have 19 Piantas left over, if I want to, uh... You know, play more Pianta Parlor games. I might grind up after the final dungeon to get more Quake Hammers and Power Smashes. But besides that, there's really nothing left for me to get at the Pianta Parlor. Please, Jam and Jelly. No Jam and Jelly, that's okay. He'll sell Jam and Jelly eventually, and when he does... I can make the final recipe. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I thought Money Money took so much BP in this. But only five, that's actually quite reasonable. And I think it makes double the coins appear so, uh, when enemies are destroyed, which is cool. Okay. Also, one thing I missed in Far Outpost, I don't know how you'd find this. Yeah, invisible block. We get the double dip P badge. During battle, lets your allies use two items in one turn. I had to look that one up. <laughs> Again, no idea how you would be expected to find that. I think Old Wonky might lead you to it if you pay him enough. Out of my way, Frost Piranhas. These enemies can be tough to avoid because the Frost Piranhas tend to appear right in front of you, so you've got to move out of the way, but the Ice Puffs are super fast, so you've got to constantly be moving. It's fun. Anyhow. Come on, General White. Oh, no. Huh? General White? He left this morning, Wapow. Da da, he, uh, said he was going to see Cola Bartender in Rogueport or something. Never mind, it is another backtracking mission. Blah. Well, I guess I'll just cut every time I reach his new location. Is he here? General White? Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. We're old buddies, he and I. I've known him since he was a little snapper that would explode over any little thing. Then again, I was the kind of guy who, that would bonk people for smiling funny. Still, he turned out to be a fine bob -omb, though he never cured that wanderlust. I'm pretty sure he said he was off to Glitzville next. I go back pretty far for the guy that runs the juice shop there, too. So give him my best. Of course it's Glitzville. Oh well. So I'll make the best of it. Are you Podley's twin brother? General White? He pounded free white chocolate into coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, and you know that lady in the black dress? I think General White has a thing for her, but that's just my gut feet talking there. She's darn cute after all. Guys come in more for her than for the juice, I think. Hey, and just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rockhawk. Oh, now that I think of it, General White said he was going to Far Outpost soon. 
But first he had to meet with Gold Bob, or not meet him, or something like that. Um... So he went to Poshley Heights, I guess? Ah, Gonzalez! General White was just here a moment ago! But you had the fiend I wanted to give him! What a rotten bit of luck! He said he was headed back to Far Outpost. That General White is a fine bob -omb, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's near impossible to wake him, don't you know? I told him to stay out and awake, so get over to Far Outpost. Sorry about that. So this whole thing could have been avoided if you just hadn't jumped the gun, Cold Bob. Nah, it's okay, it's not his fault. General White needs to stop traveling around a bunch. And he's asleep. General White said he would sleep when he returned. Pow! And he's still asleep, Wakao! He seems to be asleep. Wake him up, yes. He's still asleep. Yeah, we have to go through this again. This trouble request seems rather lazy. It's basically just recycling what you had to do in the main plot of the game. Hut! Hello, Mario! Do you need something? Hut, what? A delivery? From Gold Bob? You came all that way to bring it to me! Well, thank you for that! I'll take it off your hands. Ah, yes, well delivered. So you'll go fetch your reward, I assume? Say hello to Gold Bob when you see him. Well then, perhaps I'll go check on my cannon. I have to go back to Poshley Heights. Talk to Gold Bob. Then go back to Posh. Then go back to Rogueport to accept the next trouble quest. Then go back to Posh Heights again. These favors are all about backtracking. Not a fan. You better give me a good reward for this. Did you find General White? I see, and he received it. Good. Thanks, Gonzalez. Here is your reward. Sixty-four coins. Okay, that's a lot of money. I appreciate that. Gold Bob, being rich, can afford to pay large sums of money for people to do his dirty work for him. Yeah, the, I, this is where I really, really wish you could accept multiple trouble requests at the same time. Because if you could, then I wouldn't have to backtrack to Rogueport just to accept the next one, only to go back to Pashu Heights again. Last favor, Todia, I want to meet Luigi. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Pasha Heights for details. All right. This is a fun one. Here she is. Hello. So you accepted my request for trouble help? I thought maybe it'd be Luigi. Oh well. So could you bring him here, maybe? I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I just have to meet him, and I want to give him a cake. I have to give him a cake. Okay, bring Luigi here. Got it. So, here's the thing. If we go back to Rogueport, talk to Luigi, he won't say anything. We can't actually get him to come here. Instead, we gotta cheat the system a bit. Remember the L emblem that we got in the Pashi Sanctum? Yeah. We're stealing Luigi's glory. It's a me, Luigi, totally. I can tell! I can totally tell! I've never met him before! But I can absolutely tell! You're the real Luigi! Ah! I knew it! This is so cool! Oh my gosh, what should I say? Ah! I'm totally freaking him out! I'm freaking out, Luigi! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, right! Duh, duh, duh! The cake! The one I baked was a total loss, but Zesty did a great job on this one. Here you go, Mr. Luigi. Please take this. We get a choco cake. A cake made by ZST replenishes 5 HP and 15 FP. That's how I knew that was the last recipe I had to make. Look who it is. Hey, bro. Say, why are you dressed like me? Hey! Who, who do you think you are? You filthy imposter! Police! <laughs> what? I'm no imposter. I'm Luigi. Hey, say something, Mario. Eek! Ew, ew, ew! He's so much like Luigi, it's creepy! He's trying to masquerade as Luigi to interrupt our special time together! Da, da, 
That's crazy. This is all a nightmare. A bad dream. I won't believe it. Wake up! Ah! No way! I know I wasn't supposed to see that! No way! Don't... Don't worry about it. Oh, thanks really, Luigi. You're so sweet. And thanks for coming today. I will always treasure these moments. Always. So please, come see me again, okay? You solved the trouble. Man, Mario is such a jerk. He steals his brother's glory from him like that. Mario didn't even explain. Mario was just, it's like, Mario, Luigi's like, yeah, I'm the real Luigi, right, Mario? He's like, mm, he, had, he had to think about it. <laughs> oh, poor Luigi. But that was at least hilarious. All right. It's time to enter the final dungeon. We've been putting it off for long enough. Get Goombella out. And make sure you're well rested up and have a lot of items with you. But not too many, because you'll get quite a few items in here. Hey, frankly. What kept you, Mario? Were you backtracking to do all sorts of side quest stuff? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. Really? It's all come down to this! Hurry now, Mario! Hold aloft the last crystal star! This part is so epic. This is happening. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened! Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm! Come on, Mario! How appropriate, it just started raining in real life. Thousand-Year Door. Last chapter. Welcome to the Palace of Shadow, everybody. One of the creepiest things in a Mario game. Ugh, this place is freaky! But we don't have a choice, Mario! We've gotta get in there and save Peach before it gets out of hand! Come on, Mario! Yeah. Don't let the beautiful architecture fool you. This place is quite evil. And very dark. Oh, our first enemies. You remember the swoopers from Creepy Steeple, right? Well, these guys are much more annoying. These are swoopulas. That's a Swoopula, an airborne, blood-sucking, bat-like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. How totally, totally gross! Don't let it bite me, Mario! That's not good. Fortunately, they're pretty easy to take out. I'm also trying to build up my star power meter, because I had to use Showstopper quite a bit in Far Outpost. 
But hey, we have eight things of star me power meter now, so that's pretty cool. Come on. Free, eh? Eh, let's try Showstopper. Might as well. Oh, it worked! On all of them. Very nice. And look at these star points that they're handing out. That's, the, that's very lovely. giving stuff out. Oh, you're throwing me a coin? Well, thank you. Well, so much for the super guard. I love the architecture in this place. All the rooms are really cool. Shooting star, nice! Oh, yeah! You remember the dull bones from Hooktail's castle? Well, we finally have dry bones now. And they've got a lot of defense. So much so that using the hammer is a better idea than using just jump. That's a dry bones. It's a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Eek! That's so freaky! Nice HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends as if it feels out it's outnumbered. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them all out at once, and quick! These fiends totally freak me out! Ouch. So, explosions instantly kill their bones so they can't come back to life. Let's just let Bobbery blow it up. If it reanimates its... Actually, if it reanimates itself and you kill it again, I wonder if it gives you more star points. I actually would need to test that out. I mean, we're gonna fight a lot of dry bones in this dungeon, so... Yeah, I'll use an HP drain. Oh, I should... It only works on one enemy. Well, I guess that works. Last. Oh, forgot about that. 
Well, actually, if we can lock these guys in a pattern, he can just keep making new dry bones and I can kill them really quickly. Well, that, that didn't work. Still, I'm gonna get level ups like crazy for a while in here. That's pretty nice. I hear that. That's the sound of Bill Blasters. Well, I've got to clear up some inventory space, so I'll use my shooting star. I forgot to deposit some items off at the shop before coming here, so... It's only right. Oh, hey! They froze! This is going to be fun. I don't think Showstopper would work on these guys, so I'm going to just use Art Attack. Take some more star power, but that's okay. You can get star power back real easily. probably get a level up next battle. Which is good, because I really need more FP. Oh, yep! First attack is super nice. Let's see how much damage I do with a single hammer smack. Two! These guys have four defense, so... This is why I equipped Piercing Blow. Because that's going to do more damage than Power Smash would. And it's still not dead. Well, how about that? That's a Bombshell Bill Blaster. It fires Bombshell Bills. Sorry about the abbreviation. Max HP is 10, defense is 4. It's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll keep shooting Bombshell Bills at you. So if you got to figure out a way to beat it, and fast... Aw, oh, heck no. Well, Bombshell Bells deal a ton of damage if they hit, so... Well, shoot. Got a tattle on the Bombshell Bill in any case. That's a Bombshell Bill! Bombshell Bill Blasters shoot these fiends repeatedly. Max HP is free, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. Then again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that Bombshell Bill Blaster! Attacks that hit multiple enemies will really help here. You thinking what I'm thinking? We're about to get a level up, so... BOMBAST! Oh, we're actually not gonna get a level up from this battle, but that's okay. We can still end the hit this turn. This is the dungeon where Piercing Blow really is helpful. It's a little helpful in Glitzville as well, but... This is where enemies start getting crazy high defense. And that's the All or Nothing Badge. Hit Action Commands, Attack Rises. Uh, fail and it drops to zero. So if you're good at Action Commands, that's an incredibly useful badge. Uh, I'm not sure if I can spare the BP for that, though. Yeah, I kind of like having all these badges on right now. 
I'll probably turn it off eventually. Or I'll, I'll probably put it on eventually. <laughs> One swoopula is going to give us that level up we need. Why are EDX not cheering for me? Alright, I'm gonna upgrade FP. As you can see, I was eating through it quite a lot. And then I can probably upgrade HP next. So the way these spikes work is that they just... It's not like they're timed, it's when you get close to them, they rise up. So if you, if you think you can jump over the spike pits, you would be wrong. Dead wrong. Yep! And if you hit the spike, it brings you all the way back to the beginning of the room. That is why you want to get rid of the swoopulas that are in your way. Oof! And take the room slow. This is one room where the slow go badge actually might come in handy. Alright, there we go. Save block there. I could use it in the episode, but I'm... Um, it's hard to judge. I've spent so much time backtracking and grinding, it's hard to tell how much time I've actually done in this episode. So I'm at like the 53 minute mark. If you keep jumping over these fire bars, I believe something quite good happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah! <laughs> I thought there was a fence there. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, we've done quite a lot in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be exploring more of the Palace of Shadow, fighting more new enemies, but there's still a lot of the dungeon left, so we're not going to be in the next episode. Just a head warts up. Anyhow, until next time, have a great day, and God bless.